，我出国的时候到了新国家的飞机章，很快就会去买一张可以上网的 SIM 卡。其实这一次到门内拉时间不太够，所以我有去门内拉市中心找一个店里买一张 SIM card。When I travel, one of the first things I do when I arrive in a new country at the airport is get a data SIM card. However, this time arriving in Manila, I didn't have time to do that, but it was easy enough inside Manila to find a store to get the SIM card. As far as I can tell, there are two main carriers, Globe and Smart. I've decided to go with Globe only because it was the first telecommunication shop that I walked by when I arrived in Manila. Globe has so many prepaid options, it gets a bit confusing. In addition, these packages will also change over time, so have a look online before you go. So I'm just going to give you an idea what I found in August 2016. At the airport, the Globe store had a card called the Traveler SIM, but the kiosk at the domestic terminal was sold out of this option. The Globe stores in Manila didn't really know what I was talking about when I mentioned the Traveler SIM. However, they did suggest to either get a Super Surf card or a Go Surf SIM card. I'm not sure if one of these actually double as the travel sim at the airport, but anyway. The difference between the Go Surf and the Super Surf is the time that you want to use the card and the data rechargeability. With the Super Surf, for example, you get 800 megabytes per day and you can choose 1, 2, 3, 5, 15 or 30 day packages. But you are capped at 800 megabytes per day and you cannot recharge or upgrade that package. It's 800 megabytes per day for the amount of time that you purchase for. If you run out of that 800 megabytes, your internet will slow down significantly until midnight when it will reset and give you 800 megabytes again for the next 24 hours. The 15-day Super Surf package is 700 pesos plus 40 pesos for the SIM card itself. On the other hand, you can get the Go Surf, which is a data rechargeable package and is a 30-day package. There's lots of different options available for this. For example, a 1.5 gig at 300 pesos or a 3 gig at 500 pesos. I went for the 5 gig at 1000 pesos. But in hindsight, perhaps I should have gone for the 3 gig card and gotten two of those, which would also have worked out to 1000 pesos. But then I would have had 6 gigs. So if you run out of this data, you can go to any Globe store or a Mini Mart and a Family Mart, any of these kind of convenience stores to recharge your data or add data to your card. I travel a lot and I get a lot of these data SIM cards when I arrive in a new country. However, interestingly enough, the Philippines is the only place that I've ever been where they didn't ask me for identification before I could buy the card. Now, this might change over time, so take your ID just in case.